These are your style 38 dresser couplings. Pretty simple. Bolts, a couple of end plates called followers, two gaskets, and a middle ring or sleeve in the middle. Every dresser coupling comes with instructions on how to use them and how to install them. Follow the instructions, you won't have any problem. This is what's called a light pattern coupling. It only has a four inch middle ring, a lighter weight construction, lighter weight bolts, much easier to handle, only up to about 150 pounds of pressure. If you have more than that, don't use the light pattern. Go to one of the heavier, regular pattern Style 38 dresser couplings, or the Style 40, just a longer version of the Style 38, otherwise it's the same thing. They have this gray epoxy coating, good corrosion resist resistant epoxy coating, good for most, most conditions. They can come with different gaskets, standard gasket in the dresser coupling is a Buna S, or as dresser calls it, a plain grade 27 gasket. It's a water service gasket. They have a Buna N, which dresser calls a grade 42. It's good for oil service. You can get both gaskets in an armored gasket with a small brass coil embedded into the tip of it. This allows metal to metal contact all the way through if that's needed. It also helps protect the rubber. They have higher temp gaskets, EPDM, Butyl, Viton. They even go so high as to have a graphite impregnated, carded uh, cloth woven gasket for high temp up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit in low pressure applications. Here are a couple of dresser couplings with the pipe already put together. This is basically what it will look like once everything is put together. Big thing you need to remember, follow the instructions. They come on every single dresser coupling that is sold. All you need is a little soapy water to clean off the ends of the pipe, make sure they're clean of any dirt and scale, help lubricate the gasket as you put them on, and a torque wrench. Use a torque wrench. They have recommended torques on the instructions. You can over tighten it, you can under tighten it. Just tightening the thing till the leak stops doesn't mean it's ready. Go to the right torque, the right pressure on the torque wrench. Use the torque wrench and follow the instructions. You shouldn't have any problems.